treats to celebrate all night long. Cardinals take the World Series in six. Talk of a dynasty now. Three titles in ten years. And ABC's Rob Nelson is at Fenway Park right now. Good morning, Rob. Good morning to you, George. This is the headline in the Boston Globe today, tested and triumphant. This may be the happiest Halloween Boston has seen in a very long time. The Red Sox giving fans something last night they have not experienced in 95 years. It hasn't happened at Fenway Park for 95 years. The Red Sox are world champions. Boston strong indeed. With the championship on the line, history within reach, and a recovering city's pride surging, the Boston Red Sox put on a show Wednesday night. One run scores. Here comes Ortiz. Here comes Gold. She is safe. And it's 3 nothing Boston. Blowing out the St. Louis Cardinals by a score of 6-1. to one, The first time since 1918 that Boston's won the championship at their cherished, iconic home, Fenway Park. A moment of Beantown, hometown exhilaration nearly a century in the making. There was no shortage of great plays. It continues and he's safe back to the back. Walker brings it home. Pitch number 59 is hit a ton into right center. Back at the wall. It comes after an absolutely crazy World Series, the controversial obstruction call to end game three, and the pickoff at first base that ended game four. This is our big city! And the celebration began in force across Boston. All this revelry in the midst of a city still healing from the tragedy here at the Boston Marathon six months ago. After last night's win, crowds gathering at that finish line. Victory where there had once been so much loss. This is for you, Boston. You guys deserve it. The wounds are still fresh, but so is the euphoria in Beantown this morning. A city whose spirit is as strong as its world champion Red Sox. And as you can imagine, there was a massive police presence out here last night. We did get a few scattered reports of overturned cars, overturned trash cans. We even saw one guy hanging from a traffic light in his underwear. No word on him just yet, but all in all, police tweeting overnight, just nine arrests. Robin George, back to you. All right, he just Robin. buried the lead. I know. Exactly. <laughs> well, hopefully, hopefully it wasn't our executive producer, Tom Jabrowski. He was there at the game last night. That's Tom. Biggest Red Sox fan ever. We haven't seen him this morning yet. Yeah, but now, so, now, yeah. now that I 